Studying budgets in the DCOM software becomes very important for customers to identify any areas where they need to take action on. So if we set an expense account budget for 50,000 and then at the end of the period it comes in at 100,000, we want to identify why did that happen and identify if we need to make any changes going forward to either the budget or how we're accounting for those transactions in the system. So when we're setting up budgets, we can set up multiple different budgets. So you may have a 2022 budget, but you also may have a forecasted budget where we may start to you know, put in some actuals and make some changes to that to identify how are we progressing throughout the year. When we get into our budget setup, we're deciding a couple of different things around how do we want to create our budgets. Sometimes we may want to do that from a trial balance, so pull on some actuals from a certain period of time. Sometimes we may want to start with a previous year where I can copy that year and start from there to start identifying what this new budget will be for the up and coming year. From here, you can do things such as modify an individual line. You could come in and do a wholesale percent increase across the board. You also could lock this down from a security perspective to have certain people come into this budget and interact with the accounts that they're assigned to. So maybe somebody on the maintenance side needs to come in and just address any things from their perspective that needed to take care of. Maybe on the production side, someone needs to come in and address their supplies list and their supplies budget for the year. At the end of the day, we can collaborate on this budget and finalize it within the system. In the situations where our customers still like to do a lot of things in Excel, we do have the ability for anybody to actually import right from the Excel document. So this import from Excel allows me to go out, select the specific budget that I want to pull in, and actually import that information into the software. Again, very easily coming into the software, allow me to use these numbers to address any gaps in budget versus actuals within the system. So if we look at a financial statement, what we can do here is we can look at the specific different columns that we want to have part of this in the system, and then we can address specifically where we may be off on our particular budget. At any time, I can drill into the detail to identify specifically where I may see those issues, down to the chart of account level, down to the transaction level, down to the single source transaction, all of that coming right from that specific financial statement and being addressed based on those budgets that we set for those individual line items.